square lash, which is one of the first ones that I actually learned to do. And it's pretty simple how to do it. You just, you're gonna start off as usual with your hitch. This time it's a clove hitch. So you just make your X, feed it under, tighten it up, squinch it together. And then with your rope, the wrapping bit of this, you're gonna be going over the pole that's on top and then under the one that's on bottom. So you're gonna go over and then under. And then just feed the rope through. Like so. And you gotta make sure to keep it tight, as usual. And keep on going with the over-under movements. So you see how uh, the lashing's gotten a bit loose? To fix that, you just gotta give it a quick tug, maybe scrunch down some of the lashings, and then it should be a tighter lashing after that. But then continuing on with our over-under movements, keeping it tight, you might need to feed the rope through every now and then, but then we're going to keep on with these over under movements. And then when you get like a three or four of these done, we're gonna move on to the frapping bit of the lashing, which like the diagonal lashing is gonna be these circular movements around the wraps. So then we just go around them. Or another way you can think about it is just wrapping it, but in the other direction. So like, you go over the bar that's on the bottom and then under one, the one that's on top. You know, just different ways to think about it. Keeping the wrapping tight, might need to squeeze it together a bit and then give it a tug, making sure that your lashing stays in place as best it can. All right, when you get a couple of these done, you're gonna finish off this lashing with a quick clove hitch. So as per usual, you're just gonna make your X and then find the end of the rope. And then feed it under. Feed it under, feed it through, tighten it.